Crims, Pronax, JW, Flusha, and Olaf. And uh, we'll see how this goes early on. Elevate's gonna stack four toward the beast. Or pardon me, that's three. I thought that was four. Can't count. Rushes over with Volcano. But Fnatic spreading out relatively evenly as the bomb is in the hands of Pronax. Smokes on Catwalk. They're gonna fall back toward B Halls. Volcano already on his horse, realizing not much going on at A. But as I say that, Olaf is just waiting around inside ramp to see if he can catch out a rotator. It's all gonna come down to Warden to be the first one to spot him up. And he does see them jumping up, trying to catch out JW with anything that I can. And they're not gonna take that invitation, realizing now that there's clearly more than a few at B, and they're gonna rotate into the underpass. So that'll give Olaf an opportunity to try and rotate in. And here comes a boost Look at middle. Flush is gonna go are. back up. There is no presence at middle. They have complete control of the window room, the jungle room. Uh, now they're even going into spawn, and they can completely pinch on the B side just because wow. of how much information. Wow, they are gonna they go back up. to B. Yep, so you're right, Elevate gives way too much room. And Flusha should be your entry. JW still inside apartments. Watch this. Flusha going to peek out oh so passively. But XP3 is actually looking that direction. Not going to matter. Flusha gets the better of the frag. And Kenny gets Storm at the bench as well. He's not going to. JW manages to take down Warden, though. And now it's all on Storm to stay alive. And he's overwhelmed massively. And Volcano, still back at A, is going to get taken down from Olaf, who was waiting inside that ramp. And now Rush knows he's in a 1v4 post-plant situation. And he's looking for Olaf Meister to come back around behind him. But Olaf's playing passive. Not going to matter. There it is. Fnatic on the board. one no. Thing. And a quick and, uh, well, not quick, it was slow and passive, but a pretty easy pistol round for them. And the only kill they got was uh, Storm got one entry as they were coming into the site. That was it. So, definitely wasn't looking too promising, especially since they had three in the site. Three CTs were defending the site, and they could only get one kill. So, on one hand, you have, oh, they gave up so much information by not playing mid. And then, on top of that, they didn't even hold the site, which was uh, really, really disappointing because they definitely could have done that. So this time, three players on the map for uh, all of eight with the pistols are pushed up underneath the balcony, but there's no one even over at A. And look at XP3 making his way all the way around. Olaf's kind of walking, looking for it, but if XP3 gets his kill, it's a free gun. Oh, he saw his head, but he looked away. Did turn back just in time. Neither of them going to get actually look at that. XP3 with the frag going to take down Olaf. So there's a gun, like you say, on the ground. JW, meantime, is going to take down Storm, but not with a lot of health remaining. He's on to nine. And the bomb is going to rotate back through the T spawn. And as I say that, look at this. Volcano's already fallen back toward B. And Rush has gotten very, very passive. Back toward the connector at middle. Still holding on to that CZ75, though, trying to do something with it. Flush is going to shoot through onto XP3. So now the A site's wide open. It's all on Rush. And here comes Crimson Pronax getting inside oh, the site. Nice shot by Rush. Kill. That was absolutely phenomenal, that shot. But Pronax immediately comes around the corner. Flusha now is going to get Warden as he comes through the vent. And Volcano is going to follow in his footsteps. So there's a double for Flusha. Make it three on the round. And two nothing now for Fnatic. But not a bad effort there from uh, Elevate to at least Definitely do some heavy good damage. Good try. Good try. XP3 came in with a really big kill early on. That was really good. He got the Galil out of it. And then. Uh, Things just didn't go their way, but it was definitely a good effort. They're trying something different. I like it. They're not playing some standard setup. They're doing three twos and giving up little parts of the map to try and hold the other part of the map. It's uh, definitely a unique style of play. And now XP3 is pushing the apartments again. Oh my god, JW solo. Do you see that? 20 HP. Yep, and Volcano's aware of it and tries to chase him, but JW with that CZ is going to get another frag, and Warden's down to 9 HP on the B site, so things not looking good early on for Elevate. And with that many players down at A, it's an obvious rotation. Rush is going to be the only one there to stop them. The rotators are on the way, though. And Fnatic's not going to aggress immediately. They want to at least get themselves grounded here, get their bearings in place. Rush with a bit of a pre fire with the pistol is going to give away his position. Flusha has to know he's there at this point. And he looks away, there it is. Pronax comes around the corner. Crimson company are gonna head into the site. Storm, the only one with much HP to work with. Warden's gonna get caught out immediately. So now Storm in another 1v4 post plant on round number three. Gets a free kill, picks up a gun. Can he hang on to that AK-47? Tries to go for Olaf does. with it. And yeah, no, and uh, Crimson's actually gonna get the frag. Olaf actually lived seven HP, so he didn't quite get that. And that's going to make it a quick 3 nothing here for Fnatic. And already JW going to grab that op. And man, oh man, that kid is lethal with one of those. And but guns on the side of like Elevate. There's an op on the side of Elevate, so that could be kind of risky. Well, we'll see how uh, they choose to play it without an op at middle. You know, a lot of times when you don't have an op at middle, you want to do like an aggressive rifle setup and really get control of it or just completely give it up. So if we see a 3-2 no the where they're not peeking it, then... Uh, oh no, if XP3 goes for this late pick, it could be bad news. 
JW actually went the way of Palace this time. He's going to get smoked out, so no mid-presence from them here. That's going to slow things down a little bit. No early pick. This volcano fished up. Rush also being aggressive, so Elevate's A is actually fairly forward. They don't sit back in your choke points. They like to try and force the issue. JW still creeping around with that op. Still not going to find anyone toward window. And Flush is so patient at middle, just sitting there the there whole it round. Is. JW catches out XP3. Rush now going to go down, and that's going to be your entry. Where's Volcano? Still sitting below Treacherous. Knows that Olaf's gone above him. Going to kind of peek out and get Crims. Unfortunately, too many bullets wasted. And that means Pronax will respond as Flusha now uh, takes down Storm. So Warden lurking around, trying to get back inside A. Watch out. He's got one behind him, one inside the window. And he knows, actually, Flush is looking away toward B. So he could have been caught out there. But, and yeah, here it is. Could have been spotted. Oh, oh. Warden knows he's there, but he knows he's got no time oh, to deal with. He's got to get no. to Ward A, and he's going to take down JW. So at least there's an op down and out. But he's got to try and make something of this. Still a 1v3. Knows where at least one player is. Saw Flush on Catwalk. Now Flush is going to peek him. Warden gets another shot. That's a beautiful recoil control. Oh, Making a triple, but there's no time left. And Olaf comes around from window. So either way, it wasn't going to look good for the round. But what an effort from Warden. Matt coming out huge there. 4 nothing. but Fnatic remains and uh, remains in charge. And gain another round on the board. What a good round by him. If he had just a little bit more time. Look at the money, though. Just by taking down that many players, they can break the economy pretty quickly still. Exactly. I think uh, they like to play 3-2. They don't really play anyone towards middle. I don't know if that's an economical tactic or if they're actually doing that on gun rounds as well. But Fnatic's just making their way down middle uncontested and into the connector. And Storm's going to be on catwalk. Flush, I meanwhile, actually catches out XP3 through the connector, which I didn't see coming. And Storm actually pushes past and gets away with it. But then Flusher realizes that he's there. And now JW is going to try and catch out Warden. Not doing much damage so far with that CZ. Of course, he's got the opposite secondary right now. So closes it out finally. And you're right, the mid-presence is giving them so much to work so with. Much Even room. if they had someone to get information. And Storm was playing a catwalk. I tried to switch over to him in time there. But they smoked him off, yep. and there's all your information gone. They know they're mid, but what's that smoke say? Are they going to go to the window? The they room, push they need cat? someone in the connector. I think uh, connector's got to be the, the spot. I don't think you, without oh. an op, I don't think you're going to go. And they've got one now for XP3, by the way. But I don't think you're going to go ahead head to head with JW without that op. So that I think window uh, that uh, connector's the place. XP3 going to go for the repeat. That's the question. Looks like he's going to before he gets smoked out. Oh. Lost his chance. And JW's in Palace right now, so watch out for a counter pick. As XP3 still looking, but he's going to be in the open. You see JW just sitting back there. Oh no, that's good. They're going to re-smoke it. That's smart by XP3 right there. That's buying himself some time. Storm's also pushed out. Volcano's going to get the first frag. An underpass. That yeah. was really and good. And there it is. That's from the connector. So this time the mid presence is there. That's giving them a lot of opportunity. And Warden still doing battle with Flusha at B. XP3 is going to have company at middle again, but he's actually going to fall off. JW still inside Palace. There. Oh no, a double! Unbelievable shoots at Warden, and I'm not even sure that was a direct lineup, but he catches XP3 nonetheless. So JW, his patience, he didn't even move for half the round, and he's going to get two frags for it. Not quite the reward now, as Crims has an opportunity to try and come up from a ramp. Rush still inside the site. If Crims can find this, it's going to be a huge disaster for Elevate, who looked like they had an early advantage. Crims trying to find one at bottom jungle. Now he's going to push through toward window, looks away, but Rush is going to find Pronax before finally Flusha takes him down. And Crims, continuing on through the site, does find Storm, but Ward manages to respond into Flusha, but not before JW with that. AWP still in apartments, by the way, still in Palace, comes out and gets the hat trick. And the patience there was unreal. They even got the. Uh the early frag on the guy in underpass, Volcano got it, and then Volcano and uh, XP3 just got doubled, and that's that's just unfortunate. That's as bad as it gets, uh, luck-wise. But it looks like they're going to force by. They've got two FAMASs two, and three M4s, and uh, Fnatic makes their way towards B, four deep. And Volcano looks like he's going to be the player that's been assigned with either taking care of window or connector, but again, not really peeking it, so the information has been given away. And as I say that, B's about to get hot and heavy and hard to handle for Matt Dickens right now as Warden's going to fall back into the corner. And Flusha and company are going to pop out. Olaf Meister going to get the first one. Warden manages to take down JW, but not before getting responded on. And Volcano gets taken down immediately after, so the bomb goes down, and it's a two versus three post-plant situation. Elevate has to work some magic to try and get into this and get on the board. And Nade's heading in on Rush. Watch out. He's going to get peeked from the side. Nice reaction, but XP3's there to defend him. 
And that's going to leave it into a two on two. Pronax way back on catwalk, so he's got good positioning, and time continues to tick. Flusha also not peeking from behind that van, so they're going to force the issue and try and let Elevate force themselves into an awkward situation where they can set up a crossfire. Still not yeah, able to find like anyone. Playing the time. He, wow, Rush has to go on it. He can't stay looking toward the van. Flusha gets a free kill on that one, and now he's going to get a second one as well. So Fnatic shows off a little bit of poise as they sit back and play the bomb beautifully, and that'll give them 7-0 seven seven already. Nothing. That is a start. That is an unfortunate start for Elevate. They came in so confident, and it just nothing they're doing is working out for them. That's the problem, is that they all have these ideas, and they're good ideas, and they're they're actually doing things in the game. They're going for picks in A, they're going for picks in B, they're trying to give up middle, they're trying to take middle, and just nothing's working out for them. And eventually it's just going to, that's going to take a toll if it continues to be like that. And as I say that, Warden gets taken out so early. Yeah, Krim is with that frag now. Volcano pushed back into the connector. JW still just looking directly at him. But Olaf's going to get the kill with the grenade, so that's one for him. And now he'll continue on toward the connector, where Rush just sits outside below the window. So we'll see if he pushes into him. That's easy 75 at this range. Krim, meanwhile, going to catch out XP3 rotating around. So we'll see if they choose to go with this any further on the uh, Elevate side or if they'll look for exit. Storm, the only one left, he's way back at spawn, and Krim's makes easy work of him. So hat trick for Krim's two for Olaf. And eight rounds on the board already. Still a goose egg for Elevate. I don't know what How long do you to think do. the goose egg will go? Hard to say at this How point. How big they're, do you think it not, will swell? They've got to find a way to get early site control. They're giving up too much information, like you said. They're not containing the A push at all. Uh, despite that they were aggressive in some rounds, got underneath the balcony, they haven't really been able to shut them down. I think um, an aggressive A with guns would be really good for them, just because it sets well, the pace, really catches them keep, off guard. Keep There's an eye on Warden. He's got uh, an auto sniper, by the way, and he's going to head toward Van. That's Elevate. your standard spot. XP3, XP3 managing to get one with that AWP at A. Crims is going to pop out. He gets two as he oh. shoots through Rush and XP3. Volcano responds into him, but Pronax comes back immediately, so now we're in a two-on-two, -two, and the rotation's coming around from B. It's an AWP versus an auto sniper. Sniper, and unfortunately, Olaf is way too strong. And Pronax will go ahead and get the bomb plant. So Storm, he's a tall individual, but he's got a tall task ahead of him right now. 1v2. And again, Fnatic playing the corners and angles perfectly. They know exactly where he is. And Olaf will get that frag as well. So 9 nothing now for Fnatic. And that is... Uh that is so sad because XP3 got so aggressive in the apartments with an op, mind you, up close and personal. He got the kill, he fell out, and then they just plowed out of lower A, and there was just nothing they could do there. Like I said, they're trying different things. They're trying to get aggressive. They definitely know what they need to do to win. They're just not connecting the bullets, and that is one of the most unfortunate parts of Counter-Strike is you can know exactly how to win the game, oh, but if you don't hit the shot, then you don't win the game. That's just, that's it. You know what to do, but you can't do it all the time. Olaf doing good work at A already with a double, but he's just the distraction, or at least was intended to be. They were heading toward B, but now with those frags on the board, they're going to rotate back quickly towards A, and that bomb will go down. And again, it's Storm, the last one remaining. He's going to jump forward, grab that AK-47. I'm not sure he's going to try and do much else with it. And it would be a waste if he uh, lost his Wasteland Rebel. He definitely needs to save it. Krim's going to peek him from checker. Nope, Storm going to fall back, not address the situation. Just try and hold on to it. So this should be 10 rounds, Fnatic, already. We said this was going to be a hard, hard, hard match for Elevate, and Fnatic is showing us exactly why. Nate heading in. Oh, Storm actually gets the better of Crim. So there's one down at least, but look at JW coming around from underpass. And there it is. Flush is actually going to get it from Catwalk. So let's just hope. Not even a consolation prize. Let's hope prize. to the Elevate gods that they can get at least one round on the CT side. They just need one. They just need to get their heads back in the game. And I mean, you can see you can see on the map in the beginning, they go to the right spots, they do the right thing, they just, they're just not connecting the shots, and it is just so unfortunate. I, there's nothing else to say other than that. I mean, and here they go for an aggressive middle. Oh my gosh. Look at Storm pushing he, up, can oh, he get JW? This JW would be a big frag if he shot. does. This is the kill they need. But look this at that, continues, continues to spam away, manages to catch out Olaf, and with 16 HP left on JW, there's a good chance, but oh, it's not going to no. happen. JW's going to get one, he's looking for the second. Volcano's going to fall back, he doesn't want to stay around too long. Meanwhile, the bomb is down on the B site. Pronax puts that in place, and Rush is going to get one more frag from the remaining Flusha over at A. 
JW watching middle, make sure they don't rotate in that direction. Look at this, Rush with 16 HP, might be able to catch out on Pronax, but Pronax is gonna flash in beautifully, and that's a huge play. Look at that, such smart, such talent, such skill. Knows exactly where he was and comes through, takes them both down, so they couldn't even go for the retake, and 11 rounds consecutively on the board for Fnatic. Elevate, man oh man, not looking so good right now. And uh, Fnatic's just making all the right plays, honestly. When you have an in-game leader like Pronax who played under people like uh, he played on a team with Karn, he, you, you pick up on these things and uh, you learn how to keep the momentum. And Fnatic is kind of, they're a train, honestly. When, when they get started like this, it is so hard to stop them because the confidence does wonders for them. I mean, you've got Jay Wonderchild on, on the team. As soon as you get rolling, it's hard to stop it. Oh, JW, look at that. Through the floor is actually going to get XP3 and finish it out with an aid. Unbelievable play right there. These guys are just so aware. Their teamwork and coordination and figuring out exactly where their opponents are is just unmatched. Process of illumination almost. The way they enter every site, they've got every angle looked at. And that gave away the positioning there. So now the bomb will go down yet again. Elevate only with Warden on the board. Trying to make something out of nothing right now, literally. As Flush is going to rotate around behind, and there's the frag coming out. So 12 0 now. It continues on, and we're looking at a very, very quick Mirage and potentially a quick best of three if this continues. Ooh. I feel. I feel the feels. XP3, only three kills, just not even having enough money for the op consistently. And looks like they're going to go for the fourth buy just to do what they can, get what they can. They've got four FAMASs and a CZ, but you never want to underestimate the CZ. And, uh, XP3 gets, he has a beautiful skin for the CZ, the Tuxedo. Oh, Volcano can see Olaf, I don't think he was aware, and Volcano gets the better of it as a result. So Olaf, who's been lurking at that spot consecutively, won't get the better of it that time. Warden again alone at B, Flush is looking in that direction. They haven't really committed to it, but Pronax is actually lurking up on the catwalk right now. And he's pretty much into the B site. He's going to catch out Warden. There it is. He's down. So B is completely wide open right now. And the rotates are going to come around. Storm leads the way. Let's see if he can find out Crims. Crims already crossing over, so no damage dealt in that attempt. Flashing out, trying to get his teammates there in support. They're all coming from Checker right now, so they've got to bust out of here and try and get into the site as fast as possible. XP3 looks like he's gonna be the one that wants to go out first. Pronax is gonna get him. So now Storm's gonna follow out. Pronax still in behind that jail, not looking too good. He's gonna get another frag, so they're coming out one at a time right now. They should have just busted out when they had four players in that position. They aren't gonna do it. Rush manages to at least get one on Flusha, but he's down low on the HP, and Volcano's gonna try and come out the door next, so. JW having some issues getting in the window room. Finally gets his way through, and uh, gets that late round flank that wasn't even needed. So there you go. Line them up. Uh, just to give you guys an update on the other match, in case you're not tuned into both streams at once, which you should be, it is 24-22 uh, right now in the uh, fourth OT, I believe, uh, for IVI Power. Map. Yeah, third OT. Uh, third yeah. OT for IVI Power and Virtus Pro. And I believe it's on the third map, if I'm not mistaken. So this is uh, for all the marbles. Yeah, that's unbelievable. IVI Power didn't do so well in DreamHack, but there's been obvious potential with that roster they have. Those guys can frag, and with Adren in the lineup, not even Desi, so a former player for them. Exactly. Doing really good, and to take down VP early would be a huge surprise. They always do well at ESCA land, though, does IVI Power. They're yeah. Defending champions, back, to fa back defending champions. And they look to resume and uh, retain that title. VP, uh, I'm sure not too Volcano got that. that early kill. Though. That was really nice. Now, maybe this is the round they win it. If they can just hold this A site, flush it, throws a molly and spawn, and gets that shot on Volcano. Oh my gosh, and the site just crumbles. Absolutely. Pronax is now going to work his way in. As I was watching Matt Diggins for absolutely no reason over at B. XP3 coming around, warden down. And XP3, the only one. always oh, lurked le decently deep into the site, but he only manages to get one on Crims before Flush immediately responds. He was a little bit deeper there. I don't think they realized he was coming from CT because nobody was paying attention to him. It's like the story of Pompeii. It just it just crumbles. That once they start going in, it just it just falls. It's really sad. It's uh, they got the entry frag. And they still lost the round, and it's just, man, they just need to hit a few more shots. XP3 has a scout right now. XP3 has a scout. Can he make the jumping scout work out for him? Uh, and he's actually only got a P2000 for his pistol, but scout CZ is actually a really good it's combo. It's the best gun in the game. The yeah. scout, you can jump, be accurate. 
Meanwhile, Warden's getting slightly aggressed over at B. Pronax seems to be trying to distract him there. As JW is going to get one frag before Volcano immediately responds. And now Pronax is going to come into battle with Warden. So things happening on all sides of the maps right now. The bomb is here behind Pronax. So if he gets an entry, they're going to be in. And indeed they do. And as I say that, Crim's also caught down Storm in the uh, checker room as he was lurking behind. So Volcano's coming in. And as I say that, listen to the background. Elevate, there it is. XP3 gets that scout. He's going to take down Pronax. And now the bomb is uh, still just ticking away, though. 14 rounds already on the board. Unbelievable. Volcano catches Olaf. That's going to put them in a two on two. But the bomb is ticking away. They did not have much time. I think they're contemplating a save, but XP3 just goes for it. And yeah, oh. that's going to pretty much do it. As Krims will get the final frag onto Volcano. That said, 15 nothing in this half. Not much to talk about. That said, VP did actually wrap it up wrap on it map that three. Third so that's a heartbreak for I buy power and a sigh of relief for Virtus Pro. So it looks like uh, they'll move forward into the upper bracket, and I buy power will have to uh, wake up early in the morning and. I think they play, play uh, the loser of uh, this game. Right? I think it is this yeah. game. Yep. Yeah. So. Uh, so uh, and then the way it's looking, it's not looking promising for Elevate. That's it's great that I buy power is putting in an awesome matchup. So that said, Virtus Pro grows forward, as did uh, Titan in our first matchup on this stream, and it looks like Fnatic is poised to do so relatively easily. I shouldn't say relatively, very easily. As halftime to, to will get underway. Again, season 18 registration has opened up on the ESEA website. Head over to ESEA.net. Sign up, make an advertisement in the recruit section yep. that you're looking for a if team. If you're a team, if you're a player, there's ads for both. Yep, and then you'll be in the roster, on the board, and ready to start things out early on in January. And we'll do it all again. Breaker prize pool, overpass in, train out. And as I say that, it looks like Warden might be out as he's going into battle against Olaf Meister in middle. And he's down to, uh, actually got away reasonably well. Fnatic actually lost out on that one. Olaf's down to 52, whereas Warden, oh, I take that back, he's on 45. I'm getting all over the place on the HUD right now. Pronax playing B, just doing a jump strategy, trying to see that no one's coming down the hallways. Volcano's going to lurk toward A. But JW has pushed oh all the way no. into T-Spawn. Oh Are you kidding no. me? The One, Wonder two, Child three. strikes again. Finally, Storm goes back into him. But JW lurking through those B apartment uh, hallways there is going to get in. Now Volcano's going to try and address things at A. Flush the spots up him, but nice shot by Volcano. Dinks him down to 7 HP. And he's going to run in and try and grab that USB so he can Look for the accuracy. Crim's meanwhile catches out Storm, and there it is. Crim's going to peek out oh, from CT and also get Volcano. The first map is a big goose egg. There it big, is. 16 big nothing. So this is bad juju. GG, unbelievable play there from Fnatic, and uh, that'll do it on map number one. So that was right. a match. It's that's that's. I mean, it, you, you can look it, at it the map. It is 